Yeah. Right, there's your two setups. <laughs> yeah, that's really so that's your before, shoulders way out there in front of your toes. This one here, no, no, that's fine, no, that's fine. I'd say that's pretty, pretty good. Yeah? Okay. That's absolutely fine for me. You still maintain a nice straight back, okay? Yeah. There's a lot less pressure now down that low. And you think, yeah. you stand there now, just hold that position for 10 seconds, 15, 20 yeah. seconds. The thing that's set up is there should be no stress, or pain, or anguish in your setup position to the point you should be able to stand there quite comfortably without moving at all, not for any pain. If you're in that position there and hold that for 10 or 15 seconds, even just standing here for five, six, seven, my lower back's starting to get a bit tight and a bit sore. So if you're putting stress and pressure on your lower back, it's going to make it very difficult if you're in the golf club. Now, because you were standing what felt to you quite close, what you'll see now on this taker and you go back, the club goes outwards this way a little bit, okay? So the initial oh, part of the swing, yeah, it just goes out a yeah, little bit there. So the shaft now is kind of going through the ball. In an ideal world, it needs to come back a little bit straighter. Nothing to worry about at the moment because we're still working on turning this right hip and right shoulder out of the way. So club now gets back to there. You compare that length of back swing to where you were before, okay? Look how short your arms look, yeah? Because you're not able to turn as much. When you're in that lean over position, you couldn't turn your body as efficiently. So now your, your, your it, arms look it, bigger. It, it, does, bigger, it yeah. does feel like a Jesus, I'm, you know. I'm yeah, I mean, we can go a bit a further rapid, at the moment. Around. Now, we don't need to go any further, okay? And we might need to, in time, once you start getting this movement a bit more efficient, shrink it down a little bit. But the club you can see now is coming nicely down with the shaft, this left-hand side of the golf ball, which is great, which means the direction you're swinging the golf club on is kind of in the right way. Okay, so there's a good movement there now. And then through to the follow-through with a nice... You can see how you step back, because yeah. that's you trying to get your own way. You felt as though, God, I'm too close to that golf ball. And also, you swung around into your left heel nicely, but you're not used to going to your left heel. You're used to your weight going on your toes. I am. So I when your step. weight's going on your toes, yeah, what you have to do... To step forward. Then. Exactly. Yeah. So you've got to try and adjust your seat, yeah? So when you're in this golf ball out there reaching for that shot, you can see your right foot kind of... Up on the toe, up just the toe, reaching yeah. out for where that ball used to be. Yeah. So all your weight now is kind of going that way towards the ball, which could lend itself to some unmentionable shots that sort of squirt off the side there, some hoiky ones that go way left, yeah, or a bit of a so weaky, right. cutty one. And it's very hard to move your body efficiently, yeah? So when you finish the swing, okay, you kind of got to a fairly standard position in both these cases. This one, because you were used to kind of pulling the weight back to balance yourself, when you don't need to pull back... <laughs> you just fell backwards but that's yeah. just instinct you were deliberately doing that that's just showcasing what your body will do as a natural reaction yeah so setup wise we're going to be nearer arms and hands and shoulders over that line there okay once you're in that position now your only swing thought is going to turn this and this so it comes around the corner a bit. So you're actually opening and closing the door with the body, okay? Just get your body rotating a bit more. You can see it's going back a lot further because you're able to turn more now, okay? Yeah. Is it a bit long? Yeah, possibly. I'd rather stretch you out and go a bit too long now. You do some practice, work on that, and then we can kind of shrink things down you say now. a bit long. Well, well a little bit more, you go back a bit further because you now you've got this freedom to go there, you see. So it is going further than oh, potentially right. so we need. Try not to go. No, back don't, don't, back. no, 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 because I don't want you to try. Because what you will do to try to go less is just move your arms less. And that's right. not what we want to try and do. We want to try and restrict uh, your yeah. movement in another okay. way. But if we had the reason how we're going to do that, that's too many things in your head, isn't it? So yeah. just get your body turning as much as you feel comfortable. Get your body in that sequence. As we said, the sequence needs to be, I like the fact you put one hand on the club, get your lower case, why we talked the last time. Yeah. But what you were doing before, I don't know if I got it on the video here now, may not. No, what you were doing before was you were putting the club down with one hand. Setting the feet. Yeah. Then setting the feet and then, and then stretching the for the right yeah. hand. So your right arm was having to go further. Yeah. Because it had to go further, your weight went on the toes more. Yeah. So you're building into a sequence yeah. of... Because I, 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 I was doing this. Yeah. setting and then and what I'd have to do yeah, is yeah. do that with my arm yeah. first and then pull and it forward pull so it now in. your weight's going forward because if you let your arm just hang down where you left you can't reach the golf club well now you go okay I'll go over here yeah. where is your weight going to start yeah. going so your I weight's... was literally pulling it yeah into, exactly so your weight was like, through that movement yeah yeah which again you want to better stand to a golf ball in a way that you feel comfortable and put a lot less pressure on the back so I think from that new position there on the right we can see You've got a much more relaxed setup. You're not stretching. And now this and this can turn a lot more in the takeaway. So the club just follows that natural, that natural curve on the way back. Yeah. Okay. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. It does. Good.